We begin tonight with something that's been in the works for years. Now the city of Omaha is beginning to finally create a climate action plan. Tuesday, the Omaha City Council will hear from the public and then vote on it. Six News' Marlo Lundak explains what this means. After months of searching, this week, Omaha City Council could approve a partnership that will help the city create a climate action plan. Well, this is something I've been advocating for for quite some time, so I'm pleased to see it on our city council agenda finally. Council President Pete Festerson says we're behind other major cities when it comes to having a plan in place. We've made some progress in recent years doing things like increasing recycling rates and changing our street lights to LED, and electric charging stations throughout the city, but we really need a comprehensive plan that's actionable and measurable to make a difference on this issue. Last fall, Mayor Stothert introduced a document laying out the expectations for a consultant who will help the city create the plan. The document took more than a year to develop. Some argued the city wasn't making it a big enough priority. The mayor spoke about it a few months ago. I don't see it as being a lot of delays. I think uh, I look at it as doing it right and getting a lot of input from a lot of people. The document highlights six objectives, ranging from what's being done now to measuring how to do better. A baseline inventory for greenhouse gas uh, emissions in the area. How do we, uh, what is that um, uh, current baseline so that we know what we're measuring against. The City Council will vote Tuesday on whether to pay $376,000 to a group called Pale Blue Dot to make the climate action plan a reality. According to the group's website, they've created more than three dozen climate action plans already. I feel like we should have done this a long time ago. Most major cities already have. Lincoln, for example, passed their plan two years ago and are well into implementation. But I'm glad we're finally here. I just want to make sure we engage the public substantially now on it, have them help us implement this plan uh, a year from now once the city council adopts it, and be involved in this process. And if passed, Festerson also tells me that $376,000 consultant fee could be paid for in full through a grant from the Department of Energy. On your side in the newsroom, Marlo Lundak, 6 News. Again, a decision on the issue will be made Tuesday afternoon at City Council. The public will also be able to weigh in.